In this video, I'm going to invite you into a centered, relaxed state. From there, invite you into a more curious and creative state. And then I'll guide you through some generative imagery that basically helps with the process of resourcing, subcortical retuning, and uh, just helping you get into a state where you can make some uh, decisions or, or think about the future in a more resourceful way. So uh, I'm going to have you start by taking a quick breath in all the way to the top. Slow breath out. Notice what's tight in your body that doesn't need to be. This is just part of the general centering process. Again, do another quick breath in when you're done with that one. Slow breath out. Notice what's tight. Turn a little attention inward, feeling the muscles on the inside. Do several more of those breaths. Breathing in all the way to the top. Slow breath out. Notice what's tight. Going to start you with a basic body scan to get engaged with the proprioceptive, kinesthetic systems, feedback loops in the body. Continue to breathe in fairly quick and deep. Breathe out fairly slow. And bring your awareness to your feet. Meander through the sensations in your feet. And with your next breath, as you breathe in and then breathe out, pay attention to your calves and the lower parts of your legs all the way up to your shins so that as you breathe out you're feeling your lower legs and your feet. With your next breath you breathe in, you breathe out, and as you breathe out stretch your awareness up through the legs so that you're feeling your legs all the way down to your feet. Continuing to breathe, breathe all the way in, do a slow breath out. If for any reason you're having breathing problems, be kind to yourself. Only uh, breathe as deep as your body lets you do. Don't force anything or push anything. Do things within range. With the next breath out, I'm going to invite you to stretch your awareness through the pelvic region, the lower back, lower stomach area. Just feeling the actual felt sense of the lower half of you. What it's like to be in your skin from the very middle of you all the way down to your feet. Feeling the sensations in the body, if there's any aches, pains, or tensions, noticing them with curiosity instead of hatred or anger or judgmental feelings. And if you must hate them or be angry at them or be upset about them because you just can't stop doing that, get into the place where you can at least not hate yourself for feeling that way. Get into the bigger part of your neurology where you can notice that you can't stop hating the feeling if you're having that. Now with your next breath in and breath out, I'm going to invite you to stretch your awareness up into your chest and up into your back. Feeling the chest, the spine, the paraspinals. Feeling the chest and the back all the way down to the feet. Feeling what it's like to be in your skin. Feeling what it's like to be where you are right now and noticing the container of your body. If for any reason during this exercise you start having strong or upsetting feelings that are beyond what you feel you can tolerate, feel free to just stop the exercise, take a break, slow down the process, and resume when you're ready to do so. I would invite you to avoid forcing yourself to the point of uh, if, if you get panic attacks when feeling your body or traumatic flashbacks, uh, be kind to yourself. Don't re-traumatize. Uh, but if this just is feeling good and centered, continue. Quick breath in and as you breathe out, stretch your awareness up into the shoulders, into the arms, into the hands, into the fingers, feeling what it's like to be in your skin. Feeling the real felt sense of you, instead of just thinking about your body, also feeling what it's like on the inside. Breathing, feeling the body, meandering through the sensations, and if you have aches and pains, noticing them curiously, in an interested way, in a non-judgmental way. Being able to notice if there is an ache or a pain or a, a strong feeling of any kind, that you just notice it. You bring your awareness into it and be curious about it. With your next breath, as you breathe out, stretch your awareness 
from the arms and shoulders all the way up into the neck. And with your next breath, as you breathe out, stretch your awareness into your jaw, your face, all the way back to your ears, up to the top of your scalp, feeling what it's like to be in your skin from the top of your head down to the bottoms of your feet, all the way out to your fingertips, sitting and feeling or standing, whatever you're doing right now, breathing, noticing your body, becoming aware of the sensations in your body. Being kind to yourself as you, especially as you breathe out, noticing if there's any sort of shifting or moving you need to do to get yourself feeling comfortable, to create a little space inside you. A lot of times it's real subtle, just little movements within movements that come into your awareness, taking the feedback from your body. If something's stiff or hurts, uh, instead of trying to shut down the feeling or distract yourself from it, Bring your awareness into it and take the feedback from your body. What little movements might add a little more space? The, the physiological openness helps you with the natural emotional processing that happens in the body at a brainstem and body level. So continue to breathe and feel the body and in a moment we'll go to the next level. Just breathing and feeling what it's like to be in your skin. Allowing the kinesthetic the proprioceptive feedback loops to come on so that this next work can be a bit more meaningful. You do this level right and the other ones work better. Okay, for the next level, we're going to sort of engage the side front areas of the brain. Uh, I'm going to invite you to consider the open space around you. Whether your eyes are closed or open, continue to breathe. And as you breathe, Pay attention to the emptiness that wraps itself around all the stuff that is, all the stuff that's there. Continue to notice the silence that wraps itself around all of the sounds. If the sounds come up, then the sounds go down and disappear. Uh, that there's a silence that peeks its way through. If there's some constant sounds around you, that you just notice that there's places where there's less sound, less movement. I'm inviting you to pay attention to the stillness the emptiness, the quietude that wraps itself around the stuff that's there that shows up so that you can both comprehend what's there and what isn't. A lot of times if you look at a chess game, it's really easy to notice uh, the start and stop of a game, the captures, the wins and losses. Uh, but the, what I'm inviting you to do is something more like watching the board, really paying attention to the board, which is every bit a part of the game as the as the pieces on top of the board except that regardless of who wins or loses regardless of whether there's a capture or not uh, the board remains the same the board remains uh, immovable in the game similarly the silence the emptiness we need it to be there in the backdrop for us to hear things and notice things to experience contrasts I'm inviting you to really pay more attention to the silence and the emptiness allowing yourself to activate sense, a sense of stillness within if that's available to you right now. Breathe and consider the silence that surrounds all the sounds. And in a moment we'll go to the next level. For this level, I'm going to invite you to notice empty spaces that are too fine for your senses. Scientists tell us that every solid object in this world, including our own bodies, are almost entirely made of empty space on an atomic level. Whether or not you believe it, you can borrow it as a metaphor. Consider your own body almost entirely made of empty space. Go ahead and imagine the sensation or feeling of your body being filled with empty space, swirling with movement and life. Little tiny bits of matter swirling about in vast oceans of empty space, held together in their pattern by some energetic something that's you. Now atomically, uh, we may not be entirely separate from other things, but neurologically, there's a piece of reality that very much feels and acts like yours, and I'm inviting you now to consider the container of your body to consider it mostly made of empty space, and to imagine 
that empty space swirling with movement and life. To underscore the reality, the stuff that seems solid and immovable, unchangeable, often can and does change because of this underlying reality that things are in flux. That you're not really a solid object or a thing. You are a process and a power in this world, interacting with other processes and powers in this world. And as you pay attention to the empty spaces inside that are too fine for your senses to perceive, there's a new sort of sensation that comes with that, and I'm inviting you to experience that. If you're having difficulty getting there, uh, or if this, this feeling is, is a little disconcerting, which sometimes it, it, it has been for people I've worked with, um, I, I'd invite you to consider uh, practicing the, either just the basic body scan or um, somatic resourcing on a couple of my other videos. But for now, to continue to breathe, consider your body filled with empty space, swirling with movement and life, and in a moment, we'll go ahead and uh, start the imagery. I'll, I'll give you some, some invitations to imagine some things related to uh, the timeline and future self. For now, just breathe. Feel the sensation that comes as you imagine your body, mostly made of empty space, swirling with movement and life. Okay, now, I'm going to invite you to imagine a timeline extending out from you ever so far into the future in whatever direction seems natural to you. Go ahead and imagine that timeline, just a visual image of a timeline coming out from you, out into the future, and allow yourself to imagine that on that timeline somewhere, be it near or far, there is a version of you that's reached the next believable level of peace, strength, hope, success, uh, whatever level seems believable to you at this point. Uh, again, whether it's a little more hopeful, a little more successful, a little more at peace, a little more healthy, go ahead and imagine that version of you. Let that image start to form, and as you begin to see this image in your mind's eye of your future self, uh, don't, don't let that future self look back and see you yet. Let that future self just be over there doing his or her thing while you continue to breathe and feel right here where you are on this end of the timeline. Allow the image to form in your mind. And in a moment we'll do a little bit of restructuring uh, to help you get a little more access to the regions of the brain that you're going to use for the exercise. Okay, as the image forms, pay attention to whether it is a dark image, kind of hard to see, or whether it's a very clear, bright, and colorful image. Uh, if the image is dark and hard to see, make it more bright and rich in color. If it's rich in color, try making it a little more dark and mysterious. Then change the level of brightness or darkness, richness and color, until it's just right, so that the image of your future self is as interesting as possible interesting and compelling. Basically, you're just trying to make the image as interesting as possible from a brightness and colorfulness standpoint. Okay, next. Go ahead and notice the size of the image of your future self. Make the image larger, then make it smaller and more dense and then get the sizing just right so the image is as interesting as possible to you as you look over there from this end of the timeline. Pay attention to whether it's moving or still. If it's still, go ahead and see what it's like if it's moving. If it's moving, try making it still or at least less, have having less movement. See what level of movement makes it as interesting and compelling as possible. All right, for this next one, I'm going to invite you to sort of partner with the subcortical regions of the brain. I want you to allow yourself to become very aware of the temperature, the internal temperature of your future self. Uh, 
For some people, that'll happen immediately. For other people, they have to sit and watch for a while and, and look for their sensation of it. This, uh, I'm, I'm, this, this process is uh, something that I'm inviting you to do without forcing things to happen or stopping things from happening. Just allow yourself to become aware of the temperature of your future self. And then from there, uh, I want you to, in the same sort of way, allow there to be a sound that comes from or associated with that future self. Just pay attention until you become very aware of the sound that naturally arises to your mind. Without forcing it to happen, without stopping it from happening, let there be a sound associated with that image of your future self. Let your future self do what he or she does while you sit here doing what you're doing, imagining that future self. Go ahead and allow uh, your curiosity to grow as you notice that image of your future self. And on the count of three, I'm going to invite you to allow the future self to fully notice you. From his or her vantage point on the future in that timeline, to turn to you, notice you, I mean this person is you, this person knows you and what you're going through right now, and then allow your future self to share a message that he or she has for you. So on the count of three, one, getting ready, two, getting ready, and three, allow your future self to turn and notice you and share that message with you from his or her vantage point on the timeline in some way that you're able to receive it. Allow the message to come. Now, if you really like what you're seeing over there in that future version of you, if you have a good feeling about this version, future version of you, uh, proceed to the next step here. If, if you're actually having a lot of trouble or, or any sort of uh, negative or, or anxious feelings about the future self, you might want to hold off on this next part of the exercise and just uh, dial it back for a while. But if you're, if you're feeling positive about this future self, uh, this next step uh, is going to involve you in your mind's eye temporarily taking on the attributes and qualities of the future self. Some people like to imagine the future self either sending them a gift from their place in the timeline over to now, or shooting some sort of beam of light from their body into yours to help you feel and look like them, to just borrow their attributes, their feelings, their way of being for a minute here. So, on the count of three, go ahead and allow the transfer to continue if you're okay proceeding with the exercise. One, getting ready. Two, getting ready to receive sort of this future self gift and becoming sort of a carbon copy of the future you. And three, allow the future self to transfer all his or her attributes, his or her way of being, his or her feelings of goodness or joy or strength, whatever you're seeing over there, pouring into you until it fills your entire body, until in your mind's eye you look like, and in your feelings you are borrowing the feelings of the future self. Allow it to pour into your body until it fills you from the very top of you all the way out to your fingertips, to the top of your head, to the bottoms of your feet, feeling like your future self, looking in your mind's eye like your future self, having the brightness, the richness and color, or the darkness, the mysteriousness, having the size, having the temperature, having the feeling. And if you really like this feeling, if you really like this feeling that you're having right now, uh, it, resource the body with it. Notice what it feels like in your body. Become very aware of what it feels like in your body and send a message. You can use your language system here. Send a message in your mind of, yes, I like this, yes. This is relevant to what I'm becoming. This is the real unfolding me. Whatever it is that's meaningful to you, say that in your mind so that you can feel the feeling of yes. So you can uh, resource the body, tune the subcortical regions that are all about survival, becoming, growth, and the unfolding you. Uh, tuning the subcortical regions of the brain to, uh, to have this. Letting the image feed the feelings and letting the feelings become very noticeable 
and letting the desirability of those feelings become very clear in your mind. Go ahead and sit with this for a while. Let yourself enjoy this. And now we're going to take it a little bit of a step further. If you like where this is going, stay with me for the next step. On the count of three, I'm going to invite you to let the future self step aside and show you a vision of what he or she sees in the future. What he or she sees as a time in the future when what you're doing now, the self you're becoming now, becomes relevant at some future date in his or her mind's eye. So on the count of three, let the future self step aside and show you his or her future. One, getting ready. Two, getting ready to see this. And three, let your future self step aside and show you a time in the future. In her or his mind's eye, when this, what you're doing right now, will become again relevant to you. And again, if you like what you see, if you like the feeling that you're having right now, take a deep breath, let it out, send a message of yes through the whole body. Yes, this is me, this is relevant, this is what I want. And from here, there's potentially other work that can be done. For now, come on all the way back to this moment, all the way back into your body, all the way back to where you are and what you're doing, whether you're standing or sitting, whether you're alone or with other people. If for any reason you went into kind of a woozy, trancey sort of state, uh, then definitely take a deep breath, look around, feel things, name their textures in your mind, like feeling your hands or, or if there's something you're sitting next to or your pants or something, just feeling them, naming the textures in your mind to get yourself into a more cognitively uh, oriented, outer directed state of awareness. I hope you found this exercise useful.